The promise of a fair market is the notion that through better access to markets and resources and opportunities, poor people can solve their own problems. This dairy plant has enhanced the lives of about 11,000 families within this region. We have a farmer by the name of Yebe. Before the intervention of the dairy plant, Mr. Yebe was living in a, a mud walled house with a tin roof. But now he's living in a brick wall house during the period of the project, he has been able to see all his sons through school by using the milk proceeds to pay for their school fees. The boundaries that traditionally distinguished what we call the first world from the third world are breaking down. They're simply going away. People that you used to think of as total strangers living in an alien place are actually your neighbors now. the farmer on the top of the mountain in Colombia, the worker in the factory in Bangladesh, we as American consumers, one way or another we're all connected. And the survival of the planet really depends on our interdependence and on our ability to survive together. We have the ability to vote with our purchasing dollars for a better world every time we go to the store. We all know the world is becoming a villain. The world is becoming a very, very small place to live in. It is not, no longer going to be mine and yours. We are no longer going to live in isolation. Globalization has tremendous problems, but it also has tremendous promise. And the promise of globalization for poor people all over the world is that through a more empowered insertion in the market, in the global market, they can literally bootstrap their way out of poverty.